Hello, it's Father Gaffney here with a short video to review what you have learned in preparation for First Holy Communion. I have enjoyed our meetings, our conversations about what you have learned. We are looking forward to celebrating your First Holy Communion. Even with the restrictions of the pandemic, this is an exciting time because you are preparing to receive Jesus in First Holy Communion. We are still to maintain the safety protocols. We sanitize our hands as we enter the church. We wear a face mask. We sit with family. There's space between us and the next person going to Holy Communion. You have been preparing at home due to the pandemic. You've been using the Gospel Weeklies and also the special lessons for First Holy Communion. Our video is meant to be a bit of a review of what you have been learning and a look at some practicalities for the day of your First Holy Communion. So, it is good that you are looking at this video with one parent or both parents or another adult because they can help you after you watch the video if there is something that you didn't understand, didn't fully understand. Time to ask questions after the video. Chapter 1 reminded us that we belong. We belong to our families and we belong to our church. Through the sacrament of baptism, we became members of our church. As a baby, well, for most of you, as a baby, the priest or deacon poured water over your head and said, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, when we bless ourselves, we use those same words in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We remember the day of our baptism. As a family, we gather many times. As a church family, we gather to celebrate the sacraments, like baptism and the Eucharist, First Holy Communion. Chapter 2 reminded us that we come together as a church community to remember all that Jesus has done for us. In chapter 3, we read the story of Zacchaeus and how Jesus wanted to share a meal with him. In chapter 4, we learn about Jesus' special supper with his friends, his disciples, the Last Supper, a Passover meal. He shared bread and wine with them. He said, this is my body and this is my blood. He told his followers to do this in memory of him. In chapter 5, we learned about the Mass. And I'd like to review briefly what happens when we celebrate Mass. You know, at the beginning, we gather. We gather as a family of faith. We come together in the church. And the priest, in his special clothing, the vestments, well, he leads that family of faith in prayer. And so during Mass, we stand, we sit, we kneel, we sing, we pray, we listen to God's Word, we receive Holy Communion. At the beginning of Mass, the introductory rites, we stand and sing. The priest processes down the aisle, he kisses the altar. It's a sign of respect. We make the sign of the cross. We ask forgiveness for the times we have sinned. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray the Gloria, and there is an opening prayer. Now it's time to sit down, time to listen. The next part of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Word, is a time when we listen to readings from the Bible, from the Old Testament, the New Testament. We say or sing a psalm. The priest will read the Gospel from Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. After the Gospel reading, we say, thanks be to God. And after we hear the Gospel, we say, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The priest then gives the homily, 
a spiritual talk to help us understand the readings and God's message to us for that particular week. We then stand and pray the creed together, and we offer prayers for others in the prayer of the faithful. The next part of Mass, the liturgy of the Eucharist, is a time when we recall that last supper, Jesus' final meal with his friends. It was a Passover meal. He shares with them the bread and wine and says about the bread, this is my body, and about the wine, this is my blood, and tells his followers to do this in memory of me. Jesus offers this special sacrifice. It's a special offering of himself. He offered his life for us on the cross. He suffered and died for us because of his great love for us. The Eucharist is a special meal, and it is also a reminder of Jesus' great sacrifice. In the Eucharistic prayer, the bread and wine is consecrated. The priest calls down the Holy Spirit on these simple gifts, and they become now the body and blood of Jesus. We pray the Our Father together. We then come forward individually to receive Holy Communion. And when the priest or the extraordinary minister of Holy Communion says, the body of Christ, we say, Amen, which means, I believe. The final portion of the celebration of Mass, after we have received Holy Communion and have an opportunity to pray quietly for a few minutes, well, we then stand for the final prayer and blessing. Jesus sent out his disciples to baptize and preach and care for others. And Jesus sends us out through the words of the priest. He sends us back to our homes, to our neighborhoods, our schools, our friends and relatives, and we can try our best to treat others as Jesus did, to care for others, to show respect, to love others with our words and actions. In the tabernacle, we place the hosts that were not distributed. We keep a candle lit next to the tabernacle to remind us that Jesus is there. He is present in the consecrated hosts, the Eucharist. Some people like to pray in that special place near the tabernacle at times before or after Mass. Now, boys and girls, just a few practicalities. When you are here for First Holy Communion for our special Mass, when it is time to receive communion, you will be brought forward from your pew. And as you come down the aisle, as you approach me to receive Holy Communion, you can undo your mask and then bow your head slightly. You will hold your hands with the non-dominant hand on top, with the dominant hand underneath. So right-handers, will have the right hand on the bottom and pick up the host with this hand. I'm right-handed, so I have the left hand on top and the right hand underneath. If the host were placed right in my hand, I would take my right hand to pick up the host. The priest will hold the host up and say to you, the body of Christ, and you respond, Amen which, as you recall, means, I believe. You will place the host in your mouth, and then you will place your mask back onto your face, and then you will walk back to your pew. Boys and girls, it is an exciting day, and I know that you will receive other instructions about what time to be here, and some other details for our special First Communion Day. But continue, continue to learn about the Eucharist, about Jesus, learn your prayers, and ask any questions of parents, grandparents, adults who may be helping you to prepare. We want you to understand what it is exactly that we do at that celebration. So I hope this video has helped you to review all you have been learning 
to take a look at the special Mass we celebrate and about how you will come forward for the first time to receive Holy Communion. For now, God bless.